Welcome to Academies Australasia. Academies Australasia is a group of colleges across Australia and Singapore. We have campuses in Sydney, Melbourne, Adelaide, Brisbane, the Gold Coast, Perth and Singapore. Our campus in Perth is on Rose Street. Our campus has computer labs with printers and broadband internet access. It also has wireless internet and a student lounge. This is our website. Please take a look at our website and make yourself familiar with the information there. You can find the website at www.academies.edu.au. On the website, you'll find timetables, forms, Academies Australasia emails, access to the student management system paradigm, access to e-learning, and more information on university pathways. We also have a Facebook page called Academies Australasia. Please give us a like and follow our page for the most up-to-date information that's relevant to you about what's happening in Academies Australasia, in Australia and around the world. The systems you will be using while studying is Paradigm. Paradigm is our student management system and on this system you will enroll in subjects and be able to manage your basic information. You will also have the e-learning system which is where you will access your assessment details, your online resources, your class notes, forums, and anything else related to your classwork. And you will be accessing this very often. You will also be given a Academies Australasia email address, starting with your student number, at studentmail.academies.edu.au. The student management system called Paradigm access page looks like this. You will have a username and a password where you can log in. You will receive the username and password with more information and instruction on how to use this platform. This is the access page for the e-learning system. This is the system you will use to access your classwork, your assessment information, and you will use this regularly. Here you will also have a username and password, which will be provided to you with more information and instruction on how to navigate through this platform and how to set it up as well. This is the platform where you can log into your Academies Australasia email. You will have an email address set up for you and a password which will be provided with instruction on how to access the email address and your email inbox. Please access your emails regularly for communication from the college to you. Overseas Student Health Insurance Cover. This covers you from the date of arrival and must be paid for the duration of the course. Overseas Student Health Insurance Cover covers you for doctors, hospital, ambulance and prescribed medicines and you, you, you will have a card as well. You can collect the card at Student Services and you can also check with your agent as well for more information. Student Support Services. If you have any issues regarding living and studying in Australia, contact our Student su Support Services at reception. For legal services, students are advised to contact Legal Aid and Fair Trading. And for workplace related issues, you're advised to contact Fair Work Ombudsman. If you have any academic issues, you can contact the relevant course coordinator by arranging an appointment from Student Services. Included services with your course is English Remedial Class. This is assistance with English language skills and remediation. It's also assistance with resumes and cover letter writing. 
to access the English remedial class, you will need to arrange an appointment with Student Services. For more information on this, you can contact us at Student Services. Administrative Matters. If you change any of your personal details, such as your name, your address, contact details, emergency contact details, enrollment status or visa status within, within seven days, please let the college know. Please let us know. You also will receive transcripts and certificates once you complete your course. You will need a unique student identifier to obtain a certificate or qualification. The student handbook, telephone numbers and contact details. The student handbook and other important information is provided on the link below and has been emailed to you. The student handbook contains information about college rules and regulations, policies and academic requirements and is updated regularly. Take the time to read it and if you require further information or assistance, contact our staff at Student Services. You will receive a student information pack with more details and instruction. And if you do need further help or if you have any questions, please come and see us at Student Services. The unique student identifier. Every student will need a unique student identifier, also known as a USI, to obtain their certificate or qualification from their registered training organization. The USI details must be provided once you have set this up. For more details, you can refer to the student handbook. Basically, um, you can go to www.usi.gov.au, click on create your USI and follow the instructions. Once you have created your USI, keep a record of your USI. Then go to the Academies Australasia website, www.academies.edu.au, hover over the Overseas Students section. You'll see a drop down and click on Submit USI. Click please click here to submit your USI. Fill in your details and click Done. The USI registration manual has been included in the orientation pack. So once you are going through these steps, you can refer back to that manual. Administrative matters. Student ID cards are also available. You must carry the student ID card while on college premises. Student ID cards that are lost must be replaced and an administrative fee will be charged. Please take note of important dates. There are deadlines and due dates for each term. Please make sure to make note of these important dates so that you can follow these dates accordingly. Changing courses. Students wishing to apply to change courses after the commencement of their enrollment must complete the application to change course form outlining the reasons for this change. You must also pay the change of course fee of $150. Applications are to be submitted to student services by the due date. Exemptions. If you have completed subjects from another institution or can demonstrate that you have equivalent current competencies, you may apply for recognition of prior learning, also known as an RPL, recognition of current competencies, also known as RCC, or credit transfer, also known as CT. Refer to the student handbook for more information and please take note to submit your applications to student services before the due date. Exemptions. Exemptions may lead to the shortening of, of the course. It does not affect the student visa requirement of studying full-time workload of 20 contact hours per week. It does not lead to a reduction of fees payable. If you wish to apply for an RPL, 
You may do so by paying an RPO fee per competency. This fee does not apply to CT. Training delivery. You must undertake full-time study workload of 20 contact hours per week. Your attendance is recorded for each subject and you must enroll in your subjects in Paradigm. Absences must be reported by proper documentation like a medical certificate. You are expected to be punctual for lessons. Mobile phones are to be switched off to silence during classes and you must submit all assignments on time. Assessments must be set out in acceptable format. They must be your own work except in group projects. They must be copied on completion and a copy stored securely and they must be submitted on time. We follow plagiarism laws and copyright laws. If you are using somebody else's work, please reference where you have found this work. Please do not copy somebody else's work without a reference. If you don't know what this is, please come and see us at Student Services. There is absolutely no cheating in exams or copying in assignments. If you are not sure about this or what the requirements or regulations exactly are, please feel free and come and talk to us at reception and at student services if you are not sure. Assessments. Failure to attempt an assessment. Alternative tests or assessments could be arranged for special cases such as illness. Reassessments. If you fail an assessment, you may be allowed to reassess that assessment for an additional fee. If you are unhappy with the grade, you must lodge your appeal within two weeks. Course progress. The academic year is divided into two semesters with two nine-week terms in each semester. Academic progress is monitored and assessed throughout each subject in every term. You must access your results by the beginning of the next term from Paradigm. You must complete all subjects. Unsatisfactory course progress. The college must report students who fail to meet the requirements for satisfactory course progress. Warning letters are issued every term. You must contact course coordinators or student advisors. Failure to establish contact may lead to an intention to report notice. You have the right to appeal. An internal appeals form must be submitted within 20 working days of receiving an intention to report notice. For more information, please refer to the student handbook and if you have any questions, please come and talk to us at Student Services. Deferring or suspending student enrollment. The, the college may allow you to defer or temporarily suspend your studies, also known as a leave of absence, for compassionate or compelling circumstances. To apply for leave of absence, you must apply where possible at least two weeks in advance, and you must complete the leave of absence form along with any supporting documents with your application like a doctor's certificate or anything else. All documents must be provided within seven days of submitting the application. Failure to do so may result in your application being denied. Terminating, suspending or cancelling student enrollment. The college reserves the right to terminate, suspend or cancel your enrollment for misbehaviour. If your enrollment is terminated, suspended or cancelled by the college, you have 20 working days to access the appeals process, complaints and appeals. If you are unhappy about a decision or action taken by the college or a lecturer, first raise the matter with the lecturer. If you are not satisfied or the matter is more serious, fill an internal appeals form and resolve the matter with the course coordinator. Within 10 days, the course coordinator will contact you or other lecturers for further information. If you are not satisfied, you may refer the problem to the executive director. You will be notified of the outcome of the appeal in writing. 
Should you feel that the problem cannot be resolved within the college, the executive director should be informed. You may also appeal to the overseas student ombudsman and you can refer to the student handbook for more information. Student rights. You have a right to courteous, fair and respectful personal treatment. You have a right to confidential treatment of your private information. You have a right to advice about complaints and appeals procedures. You have a right to counselling and on academic matters by teachers and course coordinators. You have a right to opportunity to be able to access welfare related support services to assist with issues that may arise during your studies. Your responsibilities as a student is to be aware of safety and emergency procedures and to report any dangerous incidents, accidents and injuries. Have your valid student number within the college premises and your valid student ID. Treat other students and staff with courtesy and respect. Be punctual and regular in attendance. Comply with assessment procedures. If you change your personal details, your emergency contact details, visa or enrollment status, please inform the college. You are to obtain textbooks as required by teachers. Move quietly between classrooms in corridors and generally on the college premises. You must pay your fees as required by the college. Enroll scheduled subjects on, on the student management system paradigm by the second week of term. And you must access your Academy's Australasia student email regularly. You are not allowed to smoke in the college building. This includes cigarettes, vaping, e-cigarettes or any type of smoking. You're not allowed to take food or drinks into the classrooms, harass students or staff, damage or misuse college property, be under the influence of alcohol or drugs on the college premises, or use Wi-Fi to send, search for, or download anything which could offend, embarrass or threaten others. Payment of fees are payable in advance. The due date is calculated from the course start date. Email and SMS reminders are sent to our students in the Academy's Australasia student email. Once you are making a payment through an online transfer, please use your student number as a reference so that we can match your payment with your student number. Refund policy. At least one full terms notice in writing is required of any intention to withdraw from a course. Withdrawal appointment can be arranged with the student services officer. Students must complete the application for withdrawal of course form. Refunds will be paid within four weeks of receiving the application directly to the student or to another person who has been authorised by the student in writing. A statement about how it was calculated will be provided. Other than when a visa is refused before commencement of course, there is no refund for non-refundable fees. A refund policy. There are no refunds after commencement of course. No refund for student default. This means breaches of student visa, fail to commence the course or misbehaviour. There are no refunds in these situations. For more information, you can refer to the student handbook or come and see us at Student Services if you have any questions. Work rights. You are restricted to 40 hours per fortnight once the course has commenced and during any period in which your course is in session. You are able to work unrestricted hours during any scheduled course break. As a response to the COVID-19 pandemic, there has been a temporary relaxation of working hours for student visa holders. Due to exceptional circumstances during the COVID-19 pandemic and the need to ensure the supply of critical services, the Department of Home Affairs and Australian Border Force will take a flexible approach to student visa holders, working beyond their usual work limitations, but only in specified industries. What this means is that you can work for more than 40 hours a fortnight if you are employed by an aged care approved provider or Commonwealth funded aged care service provider, 
employed by a registered national disability insurance scheme provider, enrolled in a healthcare related course, and you are supporting the health effort against COVID-19 as directed by health officials, employed in the agriculture sector, employed in the tourism and hospitality sector. For more information, please refer to the link in the slide. Visa cancellation. The Department of Home Affairs has abolished automatic mandatory student visa cancellations. The college will be reporting you to, to the Department of Home Affairs where they will review your case. But the college reporting process remains the same. Privacy. We respect the students' privacy and your private information and if you do need more information, you can refer to the student handbook of how we do that. And if you have any questions or concerns, please come and speak to us at Student Services. Laws you should know as a student are the Anti-Discrimination Act, the Sexual Harassment Act, the Copyright Act and the Privacy Act. There is some information in the student handbook that you can refer to. If you are not sure what these are, please come and see us at Student Services. The International Student Consumer Guide. In Australia, every person has the right to be protected from unfair business practices. Fair trading is the state government agency that resolves disputes between consumer and businesses. This information aims to help you understand your consumer rights and responsibilities in Western Australia. The safety information in Australia is Zero, zero, zero. This is the number to call if you need to speak to somebody in an emergency for fire, police or ambulance services. This is for emergencies only. Please also note on the campus you will see there are fire stairs. This is also used only in emergencies. Government funds apply for any misuse. If you want to follow some of the platforms, the police, fire and ambulance also have their own platforms on social media that you can keep up to date with and, and see what's happening. Other important numbers and contact details. For an emergency in the college, please contact the student services desk on, on the number provided. And for any other important numbers and contact details, please refer to the student handbook. Thank you very much and all the best with your studies. And we look forward to seeing you soon.